Eye for an eye. So Zaz is dead, everyone. This is a new session of StarCraft. My long silence is now broken, and I am made whole once more. The cunning Protoss have dared strike down that which was immortal. For the Protoss who murdered Zaz are unlike anything we have faced before. These Dark Templar radiate energies that are much like my own. And it is by these energies that they have caused me harm. Yet shall their overweening pride be their downfall. For when the assassin Zeratul murdered Zaz, his mind touched with mine, and all his secrets were made known to me. I have taken from his mind the secret location of Ayr, the Protoss homeworld. At long last, my children, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Ayr directly. For now, we must ensure that the Dark Templar can cause no more harm. Cerebrate, you shall set a trap for our foes. Carry him, we lead them to you. I don't think I remember this map either. Um, I might, uh, be more familiar with it whenever we get to the start. We'll see. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Oh! 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 This one. I see. Welp. This will be interesting. Very quickly, Nidus Canals. Quickly teleport people, pretty much through, uh, time and space itself, to, uh, the other opposing Nidus Canal. The exit, if you will. If one end gets destroyed, uh, everything goes down in a blaze of glory. True story. We are not allowed to let the, the Dark Templar escape. They are permanently cloaked. So we are going to need our Overlord Detectors and our Thinking Caps for this mission. I might actually fail this one, simply because it's a goddamn pain in my ass. Also, that was a rather unfortunate end for that Dragoon. I did lose a Zergling. I'll get over it. Very slow start here to my economy. I'm not sure why I went for a hatchery so early, instead of just getting a bunch of drones up. That was probably a misplay on my part. It's been a little bit slick played. Like a day. <laughs> Beyond that, many years. So, uh, I had all these other hatcheries over here, too, on the side. So, that's certainly something. I could have just funneled in drones from them. I didn't exactly need to do this. I don't have the current economy to support all these drones. Yes. But it happened. Let's go ahead and, uh, we'll send in Kerrigan down here. So I have to destroy the Protoss bases. All the while, I can't let a single one, uh, one of these fuckers escape me. Reposition your overlords, Cerebrate, or you may fallen out of place. They have? Cerebrate, your overlords are in place. Be certain that they remain there. Well, I don't recall hearing that dialogue before either. Well, there we go, guys. It's a new feature. I'm just exploring things for you all so you can hear that. How about that? I mean, the game pretty much tells you that, I'm sure, because you've never seen Dark Templar before at all in this game. So it helps to know. Go! Oh, get back! Ugh. More fun than you can shake a stick at. With me, Grimo. A slow start here, the economy. Courtesy of my decision to build a second hatchery, because I forgot about all these other hatcheries that I had. But, uh... Shit happens. I know I do. I know I require more minerals. You guys aren't fucking sick of that message. Alright. Let's go ahead and get four more. One, two, three. Three more now. Alright, that'll be 
fantastic. Go ahead and funnel some drones over there. There we go. Good. I'm gonna wanna begin setting up some defenses for these places, more than what I already have. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to build... I should be able to fit a hatchery down there for static defenses. Let no Dark Templar escape. If one of them gets away, I lose. So, there's that. Also a cloaked Protoss unit spots invisible units and it itself is cloaked. It could, that could have been like a trap too, folks. That would have been interesting, huh? Like, well, shit, we're dead. Oh, we're seeing a lot of business over here. I do not approve of this. Nope. Oh, this side is very weak now. Definitely need some zerglings. Or something to buttress up the defenses. Let's go ahead and get those out right now. Get some lings out on this side. Get some increased movement speed. Get that up and running. I know I do. I know I do. Don't remind me. There we go. Hopefully the hitbox of this goddamn beacon is small. Hopefully. That way they just can't fucking escape from me. I want to get another overlord over there. Alright, this side should definitely be very well protected. Ugh. Lost another Hydra. Ugly Grimoth, ugly. Forces are under attack. What is it now? Uh, well, I'm listening. whoever attacked was not there for very long. That's for sure. So that's nice. Evolution complete. Good, good, good. I'll make the Zerklings move faster. I got this now. Drones. Want some defenses on these clusters in case air units attack. I also want to spire. I want increased antennae when I can get the chance. I'm gonna need an evolution chamber as well. Okay. Give me the power, I beg of you. And I want... Forces are under attack. Let's go ahead and get some more Zerglings out there. A little bit nervous. Probably. Alright. This side is very well protected. I'm perfectly okay with that. Okay. I'm not gonna make any upgrades just yet. So how you all doing? How's the family? The kids? Hope everything's going okay with you. Me, I'm a little bit busy right now. What with getting my ass kicked and everything. Full time job. God damn. Looks like they like this way. I can't possibly fail. Are 
you fucking bitch at me again, I'm gonna choke slam you, you bastard. Cerebrit, your overlords are out of place. You're doing it wrong. Doing a bad job. I'm like, shut the fuck up, Daggers. Been busy right now. Pain in the ass to have to defend all these angles. Just don't want to accidentally lose. I haven't lost a mission yet. I'd very much like to keep up that way. I wonder where I have expansions at. We go ahead and build a mutilisk to, uh, to scout. I'll actually go ahead and get another one out. That's sort of rhyme. I can have Kerrigan explore. Ah. Good thing I got the increased Hydra list support. here. That. No expansion up here. That suppose I could use that ramp to build some colonies to help protect the beacon, though. Maybe there's an expansion down here I could go for? No. Just ramps. There's a base here, though. Could piss off some people. It'll be fun. That's a photon cannon. I think I'm going to go for Mutalisk again, because they're going to be so fast. Nope, that's not an expansion at all. Definitely not an expansion. He didn't follow me, either. Well, it is an expansion. A future expansion. Get a grasp of the map here. I want you bastards to move fast, too, just in case. It's a big expenditure of uh, Vespane gas as well as minerals. Oh, looks like we have a goon there. He ain't biting, though. Nope. Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I think they aren't, they aren't making attacks on my Nidus Canals. That'd be unfortunate. I want that. I will get that. You wanna know how I'll get that, folks? Magic. Alakazam Kazoo. Okay. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, no. But this is the, that's the primary one they want to attack at? I'm okay with that. I'll get over it. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, refer these gentlemen, these lovely polite gentlemen, over to here. Because I'm going to attack that expansion up there with these forces. Oh, by the way, folks, uh, several people have commented on it. Oh! That was a Dark Templar. Uh, I'm perfectly aware of the whole burrowing trick to stack the mutalisks, as well as the overlord trick to stack the mutalisks, and all sorts of things to keep the formation of the magic boxes. It'll be okay. Let's go ahead and have ourselves a party here. Because we're going to go take this shit out. Ultralist, by the way, can't burrow. Very tough. Can get even tougher, too. Should probably focus on overlords. I did a horrible job of selecting units there. That was terrible. There we go. That clears out this expansion. Now you guys can go ahead and get back here. 
Alright. I definitely want that. So I will claim it. Lord to the left and overlord to the right. Then getting surprised. The, the further we can see, the better. Also, it looks like there's a potential expansion up there as well. Not all my forces came along to the right there, but Kerrigan's there. Oh. Well, shit, he's gone. Okay. Was I not sending an overlord over here? I thought I was. Get over there. You slow bastard. Okay. What all structures can I build? Oh, I can build the Ultralisk Cavern now. Makes sense. So I have those unlocked. Achievement yet. Alright, we're gonna do boring old Mutalisk again, folks. Maybe. We might mix in some Zerglings as well. We probably will. In which case, I should probably get some melee attack upgrades so they deal more damage. Go ahead and work on that Vespain gas. Here we go. Adrenal glands! You've seen how quickly these motherfuckers can attack whenever they have the power, the technology. Yes. You see? Sarah Kerrigan said yes. <laughs> Alright. You get in there. You go ahead and build a colony. Go ahead and head over here. Good, I like it when the evolution's complete. Good times. We don't have a whole lot of Vespain gas left in that geyser. Go ahead and build some more defenses. Okay. This should be good. Researching Burrow can make it easier to group these fuckers together. Alright. This should suffice. Let's go. Ah, shit, Reavers. Change mine! What a waste of resources that was. Why did there have to be Reavers? Why? Fucking Reavers. There to just piss me off, folks. Fucking Reavers. Nope. Oh shit. Get back. God damn it. Alright. Well, hell everyone. That's what happens whenever Reavers get involved. Ruin my fun. Bastards. Can't believe they'd ruin Grimace fun like that, can you? It's rude. 
Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead and kill these bastards. There's a cloaked observer moving about. You can see the shadows there. Alright. A much diminished force. Go ahead and take care of this. There we go. Kill the robotics facility so that no more Reavers can come out of there. Rush here to take out this cannon. Go, little Zerglings, go! See the little Zerglings go! Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, this isn't pretty. Once again, I grow tired of slaughtering your servants. Have the mighty Templar lost their infallible courage? Well spoken, concubine of the Zerg. But though we strike at you from the shadows, do not think we lack the courage to stand in the light. You would do well to abandon this attack. You seem overconfident of your abilities, Dark One. I am no helpless surrogate to be assailed under cover of darkness. I am the Queen of Blades, and my stare alone would reduce you to ashes. You and your ilk cease to amuse me. Prepare yourself for Oblivion's embrace. I hope I didn't trigger bad things happening. That would definitely be unfortunate if I did. We're going to, uh, have more circlings. Please, please, please don't separate from the rest of the group. That'd be swell. Okay. Well, this is going to be another expansion. All you little drones, go ahead and head down here. I'm going to have an overlord join you. We'll say this overlord. Okay. I'm broke now. Can't spend any more money. For now. Which is why I'm going to spend more money, folks. <laughs> ah, shit. They're all in the way. Let's go ahead and work on these clusters, how about? Supply lines aren't exactly the best, but, uh, we'll get it done. Thespane gas is not a primary concern. Drones, overboard. Four. What we're on the hunt for are Reavers. Oh, shit. Those are bad. Those folks were High Templar. You saw Tassadar. He's a hero High Templar with a Psy of Soul. Normal High Templar, though, are casters. Meaning that, uh, well, they don't have a normal attack, but they can do things such as Psionic Storm, which can be absolute murder for Zerg units. You get your ass back here, sir. Ah, I thought he was going to hide in his shuttle. He didn't. Okay. Now, Protoss, you shall know my wrath. Now you will know the fury of the Queen of Blades. 
Well, I thought there was another base further up north, but there you go, folks. I suppose there wasn't. Well, that was fun. We lost a lot of units that time. It's like I'm actually playing Zerg. And no Dark Templar snuck past me. Thank the good heavens. And we get a cutscene! That the Terran Dominion Border World Char. I think this is actually Chaw-Sara, which was, of course, decimated by the Protoss. But I'm not entirely sure about that. Those are Guardians. And overlords, and quite frankly, every fucking thing. If you if you missed a memo, we're we're going for the Protoss. We're heading for Aya. If you've been reading along in the video descriptions, all the Zerg really needed was well, someone who could had psych, who was psionically gifted. There we go. Anyway. Tassadar and the Dark Templar Zeratul survived Kerrigan's vicious attacks, but their Templar armies have been decimated. Kerrigan, left behind the hunt down and eradicate the remaining Protoss warriors, begins to scour the burning wastelands of Jaw for her elusive prey. Meanwhile, the entirety of the extended Zerg swarm, teleported through space-time, began its long-awaited invasion of the hated Protoss homeworld of Ire. To be fair... Overmind didn't exactly expect that, you know, things were going to transpire this fucking quickly. Anyway, that'll wait for next time, folks. Join us next episode when we invade the Protoss homeworld, the planet 